Hey YouTube, it's Adam from Ama Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today we we'll remaking SZA's track Love Galore featuring Travis Scott. So let's get straight to it. First things first, let's set our tempo to 135 beats per minute. And we're gonna start off with that bass sound that you hear throughout the entire record. That pattern is eight bars, so I'm just gonna move that like this. Let's open up our browser. We're gonna go to bass and we're gonna bring in Logic's preset called Subby Bass. All right, let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. So that's just going to repeat itself. And we're going to drop this down to a C. And this repeats itself as well. I get something like this. Let's roll up the bass amp and just adjust this a little bit. It's going to push up the tone. All right, next we're going to open up a delay, get some delay happening on here. Go we'll delay, tape delay. Let's put the dry up to 100% and our wet to about 15%. We'll just be using the default uh, preset loaded up in Logic's tape delay. All right, next let's go ahead and bring in a nice reverb, uh, reverb spaces di space designer, and. Um, Again, we'll just work with the preset, maybe bring this down a little bit. So let's just go ahead and quickly arrange this before we add in the drums. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just push this over twice. Uh, actually, maybe we'll cut it back. We'll make this a shortened arrangement of the track, as we usually do. Push this back, actually, there. And uh, we're going to create a new software instrument track. We're going to create a EXS24 sampler instrument. We will be bringing in the Love Galore drum kit I put together for this tutorial. Make this nice and loud. And uh, let's draw in that kick pattern. Let's work on the second half of that kick pattern. Next, let's go ahead and duplicate that track, and we're going to bring in a nice tambourine. Uh, this one's four bar pattern. And uh, let's go ahead and draw that in. All 
All right, and that's all it is. All right, but on this, we're just gonna add in a quick reverb. Let's bring in Logic Space Designer once again. We'll be using the default setting that loads up. All right, let's go ahead and duplicate that track. And um, we're gonna go ahead and just put in a nice pop hit here. Uh, let's see here where it is. make this a little louder all right so that sounds good just like that next let's go ahead and duplicate this track and we're gonna go ahead and bring in that snare lower the reverb on this one and next go ahead and duplicate this track once again uh, let's remove the reverb for this one and we're going to put in an open hat now there is two open hat patterns in this track and i guess we can make them now uh, let's just delete this for now So that is the first one, so let's push that over. And then I guess we arrange as we go here. The drums start to build up. And then the open hat happens like this. And that just repeats itself for a little bit. All right, next let's go ahead and duplicate this track once again. And we are going to draw in the hi-hat pattern this time. Uh, let's change this tool to a brush tool. And uh, let's just paint these in. Straight eighth note hits. Actually, let's make it a four bar pattern and it'll just duplicate it after. So right here we get a little stutter. Just gonna zoom on in. We'll change to 30 second notes. Just paint those in. Sorry guys for the confusion. There we are, we're zoomed back out. Then right here we get another stutter hit. So let's just zoom on in on that. stutter over here. All right, so let's just go ahead and copy that over. Let's go ahead and create a, another instance of this track. I'm gonna put in this little percussion hit. 
Uh, let's see here. Make this a little louder. All right, so that's just going to repeat itself once again on this side. All right, next what we're going to add in is some reverb. So we're going to bring that space designer once again. duplicate this over the eight bars we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this track once again and uh, we're gonna add in another set of percussions or another perk uh, and it's gonna be like this Just adjust the reverb a little bit here, maybe bring it down a little bit. All right, so that sounds good just like that. Now bring down the kick a little bit as well. We're going to go ahead and duplicate this entire section, move that over, move this over over here, and next we're going to get into that analog synth section. Go ahead and create a new software instrument track and draw in that four bar pattern. Uh, for this, we're gonna bring in a logic preset. It can be found under synthesizer, pad, and bring in the classic pad preset. All right, let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. Copy this over. And our second chord is going to start on a G. So go up to B, D, round up the G. So our full chord sounds like, our full synth pattern sounds like this. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna open up an EQ. I'm just gonna cut out some of those lows here. So we're going to go to around, let's say 500 hertz, and we're going to cut off a little bit here. Let me pull that back a little bit here.
Next, we're gonna open up our ES2. I'm just gonna change the oscillators a little bit. The first one is gonna be a sawtooth. The second one is going to be a sine wave. And the last one will be a square. We'll leave our mixer as is. Just to give it a different tone to it to make it match the one in the track. Pull up the glide to about nine o'clock. All right, so that sounds good just like that. Next, let's go ahead and just quickly arrange this a little bit more, and then I'll we'll round up this remake. So this is gonna go out to here, and then let's copy this over once again at the 49th bar here. And uh, let's take out some of the stuff here. Let's take all this stuff out. I believe what happens, this section plays out here. Uh, let's see here, the kick comes in a little bit after. Uh, something like that. And then let's go ahead and bring in the whole collection together once again. But without the pad sound, remove the pad sound over. And then let's go ahead and take over everything over here to the end. And, and what they did in the track here was simply half time this drum pattern with the bass. So what we're gonna do here is go to our master track and we're gonna bring in a third party plugin. Uh, the plugin is by Cable Guys and it's called Halftime. And it's gonna make our beat sound like this. I'm gonna set it to two bars. And it's gonna half time that beat at the end, but I gotta automate that. So I'm just gonna bring in my automation here. And uh, we're gonna bring in half time power on. And let's turn it on at the end here. All right, so now that we got that automated, our ending is gonna get half timed and the rest will not. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the remake we just put together, Scissors track Love Galore featuring Travis Scott.
So that right there is his track Love Galore featuring Travis Scott. For your Logic users out there, I'm going to go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. Place that as a downloadable link in the description box below this video. For your non Logic users out there, got your back as well. You can go ahead and export all these MIDI stems and include some audio loops as well. So if you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. For more good videos like this one, remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to y'all soon. Later. Peace. Thank you.